Hey, Clonebot Zach here, and today we're going to talk about how to make a two-way conversation using iClone 3. Okay, but first, I want to throw out some kudos to whoever made this 3D model that I downloaded from 3D Google Warehouse using 3D Exchange. But first, take a look at Trey. He's not even looking at his friend in the face. How can he have a conversation with his friend if he doesn't even look him in the eye? So let's go down under the Modify tab, look for Look At, choose a target, and let's have him pick target for his head. Now you can see that Trey's looking his friend in the face, so a conversation can now take place. Alright, so let's angle back over here so we can get a good look at Trey. And let's go to the navigation bar, find the animation tab, make sure that we have facial animation selected. And notice in the content manager we have several different kinds of templates for different types of voice animation. And you can always have a customized one. Alright, so now let's take a look at the really cool stuff under the Modify tab where you can open up any kind of MP3 that you might have saved on your, on your computer files or record your own voice. So here you can choose which device you want to use, which I only have a microphone. You can also change the volume and when you're ready to record, just press, press record here. Hey, what do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? Alright, then you can play back to see if it sounds right, but you can't hear it because I'm wearing headphones. And if it sounds good to you, press OK and add it into the timeline. Okay, now you can see on the timeline that the animation clip has been added. So let's watch Trey talk. Hey, what do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? Very good, Trey. Okay, so once you get back to the position on the timeline where your, his friend responds, click on him. Okay, here we are. All right, so making sure that the timeline is at the right position, press record and, uh, I don't know, what do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? Okay, and remember you can always play back, but I'm too lazy, so just press OK. Alright, then play along the timeline to get to the position on the timeline where, where Trey will respond back. And let's click on Trey. Okay, press record. And press record again. You call it a stick! Ha 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 ha! Wow, that was kind of a debacle laugh, but uh, okay, that's the way Trey laughs. Alright, so play along the timeline to get to the position where Trey's friend will respond back. Let's, let's pause. And let's get back over here. Select his friend. Okay, select him. Alright. And let's press record. Alright, opening up the record menu and uh that's not very funny, man. Okay, press OK, but again you can check it if you want it, but I'm too lazy. So we can add it in. Alright. And with iClone 3 standard, you can choose the right position on the timeline. Then add facial expression from one of the templates on the right, such as this happy, and now you can see Trey smile as he tells his joke. So that's how you make a two-way conversation by using the timeline and recording your own vocals. Alright, so let's open up the timeline and I want to show you one thing about this. So make sure you have both Trey's selected, you got Trey and Trey Zero, which is Trey's friend, and open up the face tracks to look at the animation that we created. Okay, so these are the first one where he says, hey, this is my joke about the boomerang. And notice, just like any other animation clip, you can move it around along the tracks. But it's actually easier if you open up both face tracks for both trays. <laughs> both trays, it's kind of weird. And notice that you can move the conversation between each one where they overlap with each other or start at just about the same time one conversation track ends, the other one begins. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? Uh... I don't know. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? You uh, call it a stick. That's not very <laughs> funny, man. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing, but at first I need to close the timeline. There we go. Okay, so remember whenever the point where he said, I don't know, what is a, bo what is a boomerang that doesn't work? We can add in an uh, animation for it, like this. Puzzlement. So now both animation of puzzlement and for the vocal of I don't know, what is a boomerang that doesn't work, are now at the same time. You can also do the same thing, let me get Trey's face here, zero in on his face, alright, there you go. You can also add in expression styles, such as whenever he's telling his joke, he wants to smile. So what we can do is come along the timeline, find the point where we want him to start smiling, but make sure you choose a facial clip, like this one, which it might be better if you choose in the middle, but alright. And notice you have several different templates, let's find one that we like, like happy. Here we go, see him, he smiles, oh, he's so happy then no one's gonna laugh at his silly joke. Alright, now for those of you who also want to use Crazy Talk for better, more enhanced expressions, I'll have a tutorial later for that, so stay tuned, okay? What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? Uh, 
I don't know. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? You call it a stick. <laughs> uh, that's not very funny, man.